Rocket League freestyling, one of the biggest factors in Rocket League and one of the biggest parts of the community is where people try and hit incredibly good shots just like this one in order to look really cool for good clips and montages. In today's video, I'm going to be taking one player from each rank all the way from bronze all the way up to grand champion to see who can hit the best freestyle. I'll be giving each one of these players three different attempts on goal to score their best freestyle shot and I'll be showing you guys those attempts to finally settle which rank is going to be the best at freestyling in Rocket League. If you guys do like this video and find the content enjoyable, please make sure to like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's go straight into the first rank. The first player of today's video, Ken Pet, a player who is in a rank who which I didn't even really believe existed anymore. This rank of bronze is for people who have barely played any hours or have pretty much freshly downloaded the game. So theoretically, they should have very little mechanics and not be able to do that much skill. Here we are going to be giving Ken Pet the chance and let's see what he can represent for the bronze community. Not that there is many players, but let's see what shots he can pull off. Let's get into shot number one. Let's see what Kempet can do for his shot number one of today's video. Obviously, he is a bronze, so we are not expecting that much good mechanics, but let's see what he is capable of. He does full boost up to the shot. Has he managed to slot it? Goes for the double tap. Gets the double tap. For a bronze, I'd argue that's very, very good mechanics. Obviously, that is going to be one of his better freestyles, I'd imagine. He does touch it up to the backboard and manages to read the bounce for the double touch. Again, shot number one from the bronze, I would give a solid 6 out of 10 for his rank. Very, very good mechanics there for his time in the game, which is under 10 hours. Shot number two for the bronze player, Len. Let's see if they can pull off or beat what they did manage with shot number one. Again, it was a relatively good shot number one. Looks like he's going to hit it to the wall. He's going to wait for the bounce. Can he? Can a bronze read a bounce? Just about, and he does slot it into the bottom corner. Again, pretty consistent here from the bronze. He has managed to score both his shots. Touches it, waits for the bounce off the backboard and does manage to shoot it into the bottom left-hand corner. Pretty good start for the bronze rank player. The third and final shot for the bronze to prove his rank. Again, a similar to shot to shot number one. He tries to go for the no bounce double tap, but just about unsuccessfully messes up the read. But we would expect nothing less from a bronze rated ranked player. What do you guys think of this bronze player? I think for a bronze, he was pretty good. Anyway, time to move on to the next rank, which is going to be our silver player. Let's see if they are any better than the bronze. So here we have our silver ranked player. The name is going to be Jump 100 Oceanic. Now let's see how good his mechanics are going to be for a silver. Obviously with a silver you are relatively new for a game. So we're not really expecting anything special. But let's see what the silver can pull up. Can he represent his rank very well or not? Here we go then with shot number one for the silver player. He is just going to basic shot, but it does go into the bottom left-hand corner. So we will take that again. Not too much of a freestyle, but that bottom shot, he does have pretty good aim. To slot that right into the bottom corner, good accuracy and a decent start for the silver player. Let's see if he can do anything a bit better. Here we go then with shot number two for the silver player. Let's see what freestyle they can show me. Here he goes. Looks like he's going to attempt something relatively similar to the first shot. This time there is a jump in there, meaning the ball does get a little bit of height. Again, it's a relatively basic shot, but bear in mind that Silvers only have probably 10, 20 hours in the game. So that is just going to be fine and some decent mechanics there from the Silver player. Let's see still if he can pull anything better off with shot number three to better show off his rank. Here we go then for our third and final shot for the silver ranked player. Again, we have seen so far he does have very basic mechanics, but that is what we would expect from a silver. Let's see if he can do anything off the wall. That's going to be an attempt at a freestyle. He does try and flip it off the wall in the direction of a goal. Unfortunately, he does miss. But again, we wouldn't expect anything more from someone ranked in ranked silver. Anyway, leave your comments in the thoughts and your thoughts down below in the comment section as to whether you think this is a true representation of a silver, but that is going to be his best freestyle mechanics. Now, let's move on to the next ranked player, the gold. Now, we do move on to our gold ranked player. Now, obviously, gold is the rank where you start to have a decent amount of experience playing the game, and therefore, you might be able to d develop some basic amateur mechanics. So, let's see what our gold ranked player can pull off with his three shots. Can he do anything impressive? Let's find out. Let's move into shot number one. Shot number one then for our gold ranked player. Let's see what they can pull off. Looks like he is going to be going for a setup off off the wall. Is the gold player going to do anything special? It's a little bit of a strange setup. Looks like he's going to touch it. Is a gold able to air dribble? Decent control at the start. He does lose it though with that lack of aerial control. Obviously which we would expect for a goal. He does end up double tapping it and slotting it into the goal though. Which is still going to be fine. Again shot number one there for the gold. 
Shot number two for the gold. It looks like he is going to be trying something similar to that which the silver player was trying earlier. He does hit. He is going to reach backboard. Can he get the double tap? He just slightly puts the double tap over. Again, a bit unlucky not to convert that into a goal as we did see the silver ranked player score that earlier. He does have one last shot though to try and prove his gold skill. The last and final shot from the gold ranked player. Looks like he's going to go for some sort of improvisation. Pinches it off the wall. Flips it. Can he get the touch? He does get the touch. Manages to put it into a goal. I'd say that's the best goal he's scored so far. Pinches it off the wall. That's pretty nice. Does get a pre-flip into it and then able to convert that into a goal. Overall then, what would we rank that gold ranked player? I would say he was pretty good. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Is there going to be any angry golds in the comments section? Or did Real Brain Dead give an accurate representation of what gold rank is like? Can he hit the double tap? He can also hit the double tap to finish off his section in today's video. Here we go then, moving on to our ranked player in one of the most controversial ranks in Rocket League. He is going to be a Platinum rank. Now, many Platinums seem to think they're either really good at the game or most of them realistically are really bad at the game. So let's see what this Platinum can pull off for us in his three shots. Let's go ahead and get straight into shot number one. Here we go then with our first shot for the Platinum ranked player. Let's see what a Platinum can pull off. Looks like he's going to be going for some sort of basic air dribble. Can a Plat do an air dribble? Three, four touches. Can he stick it in? The Plat just barely misses out on his first air dribble for shot number one. Here we go then with shot number two for the Platinum. Let's see what they can pull off. Looks like he's going for something off kickoff. Hits it to the backboard. Can we get the double tap? He does get the double tap. Again, it's not going to be the best double tap, but he does read it off the ceiling and he manages to put it in. That is going to be two goals so far from the Platinum and a relatively decent shot number two. Let's get ahead into shot number three. Here we go then with the third shot for the Platinum. Let's see what he can pull off. Will there be angry Plats in the comment section? He does get up. This is a really nice start to the air dribble. Good control. Can he put it in? He does manage to put that in. That's going to be a very, very decent air dribble there for the Platinum rank. Guys, feel free to leave your thoughts down in the comments down below. How do you think that Platinum got on out of 10? I reckon that was decent from him. What would you guys rank him as? Would you say that was Platinum Mechanics or would you say he was better? So here we go then, moving on to our Diamond player. Now, Squibble Juice YT is going to be our Diamond player. So let's go ahead and see what three shots this guy can pull off. Hopefully, he can hit some good shots to represent the Diamond rank well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into shot number one, where he is going to be attempting the ceiling shot mechanic. Here we go then, let's see what this Diamond can do in terms of a ceiling shot. Hopefully he can pull it off. Obviously, once you do get to diamond, you do start to get decent mechanics. He does. That's a good setup straight to the ceiling. Can he flip into it? He does flip into it and he slots it. That is going to be it straight away. The diamond does score the ceiling shot mechanic with E. So that is going to be a good start representing the diamond rank. So next up, let's see what this diamond can pull off. What is he going to do here? He's going to pop it up. He does flip it to backboard. Can he get the double tap? Not really. That's going to be a poor read. Again, he is trying that double tap mechanic. So shot number two is going to be a fail at that double tap mechanic. Let's give him one more attempt and see if he can pull it off. So let's see what he can do here. Again, good setup. Decent amount of boost. It's a solid hit. Not quite going to reach it to backboard. He does get the touch to put it in. But again, not being able to pull off that double tap mechanic for the diamond rank. Here comes the diamond then for shot number three. Let's see what he can do. He is going to pop it up into the sky. How good is a diamond's aerial control? To backboard, he does manage to touch that shot in. Again, a relatively simple double tap. Pretty solid though for the diamond rank. And that is going to be very, very nice to finish off the diamonds part in today's video. Make sure to leave comments down in the description as to whether you think the diamond represented his rank well or not. Here we go then with the champ ranked player in today's video. Now Hudson is going to be our champ. Here is going to go for shot number one. It's a nice touch backboard. Can he get the double tap? He does get the double tap and slots it quite successfully. Starting off there showing the champ rank well. That's a good shot number one. A decent double tap. Now let's move on to shot number two. After a successful double tap for shot number one. Let's see what this champ can do for shot number two. Looks like he's going to be up, going up to the ceiling. Can he do some sort of ground pinch there? He does get a semi-decent ground pinch into the goal. Let's go ahead and see what speed that is. Again, 101 ground pinch. Not going to be too bad. Decent start for the champ. Let's see what he can do in the third and final shot. Here we go then with our champ's final and last third shot. Let's see what they can do. Does get a decent setup. Jumps to the ceiling. Can he musty it to the backboard? He does. Can he get the double tap? He does get the double tap and slots it perfectly. A ceiling musty double tap for the champion ranked player. That's going to be a really, really nice shot to finish off representing the champ rank well. Feel free to leave your guys' thoughts in the comments down below about how that champion ranked player performed for his rank. Here we go then, you guys have finally reached the final part of today's video where we will be doing the Grand Champion player to see if Grand Champs are really the best at freestyling. 
Who is the Grand Champion player, you ask? Well, it's actually going to be me, Manzanosis. As you guys can see from my title, I was a Season 6 Grand Champ. So let's go ahead and represent Grand Champion rank well. Here we go then with shot number one. I'm ready to be roasted in the comments if I can't hit anything that good. As we do get a reset musty, the musty is not going to be that clean. But we will take that for shot number one for the Grand Champion rank. Now let's move on to shot number two and see what we can pull off. Let's see what me as a Grand Champion can pull off for shot number two. Let's try and go for some sort of double flip reset or something like that. We get the first reset. We do get the second reset. Can we convert? We can convert. That's a really clean double reset there to hopefully show up in today's video for the Grand Champion rank. That's beautiful for shot number two. The final shot of today's video. Let's see what this Grand Champion player, aka me, can pull off for shot number three. We are going to get another flip reset. Can we get the stall? We can get the stall. Can we put that in? That is a perfect stall reset, double flip reset there. What a shot. I think I've represented the Grand Champion rank well there with that one. Please feel free to leave your comments down below about how you feel that went for me, the Grand Champion player. But again, does that show that Grand Champions are the best at freestyling in Rocket League? So that is going to be all. We have gone through every single rank in today's video from bronze all the way up to grand champion. And every single one of them players have shown us uh, their best freestyles. What is your guys' verdicts? Which players do you think played the best for their rank? And which players do you think did the worst for their rank? If you guys did enjoy this video and would like to see more enjoyable Rocket League content just like this, please make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.